Hi guys, Saint Jeff here, and today I'm on WWE 2K16. And I am showing off the new Future Star Pack. Samoa Joe versus. I think it's. Blake. And I'm just gonna talk you through how it looks WrestleMania 32 is going. First of all, I've got the Divas Championship so far. I think that Sasha Banks will face Charlotte at Fastlane and Charlotte will win again, or Sasha Banks. But at WrestleMania 32, there'll be a triple threat Divas Championship match between Charlotte, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. And up next is the United States Championship match. At the moment, I do not know how they're going to introduce a new opponent but either Kalisto or Del Rio. I think that Del Rio will verse Kalisto again at Fastlane. Or maybe even Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn made his return just at the Royal Rumble pay per view. So we could have Sami Zayn versus whoever the United States Champion is. And then we've got Age of Styles. He could go after Kevin Owens at Fastlane and then if AJ Styles wins Kevin Owens at Fastlane They'll go on to face the United States Champion, maybe. And up next is the Intercontinental Championship, which is currently held by Dean Ambrose. He's just faced Kevin Owens in a brutal last month standing match. And Dean Ambrose won. So, Kevin Owens, like I say, I think he'll be put in a rivalry with AJ Styles. And there's plenty to talk about when dealing with Samoa Joe. Definitely looking confident in this one. Anyway, Dean Ambrose is the Intercontinental Champion. Dean Ambrose, I don't think he'll be defending his title at Fastlane. I'll tell you why in a bit. Um, his next opponent could be maybe Sami Zayn or Ezra Styles again. I mean, if AJ Styles was to go for the Intercontinental title, it would be great if AJ Styles won because, well, it means that he could be a future WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And Dean Ambrose, I don't know, he could defend it at WrestleMania 32, I just don't know about that. 
Then won the tug team titles. Hmm. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Maybe. Maybe the Ward Villains will make their debut, maybe. Or Enzo and Cass. Continues to punish his opponent. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Um yeah, it looks that way. Then I think that it's leading up to Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt or the Wyatt family for a WrestleMania 32 match. First of all, I think at Fastlane, Bray Wyatt will come out with the Wyatt family, just like, like, and he'll throw out a challenge for maybe a four on one handicap match against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32 and that would be a quality match then you've got Undertaker I don't think he'll be versing Stim at WrestleMania 32 because I think that Sting is either gonna retire or he's either still injured because he's got inducted to the WrestleMania 32 Hall of Fame. So, yeah, I don't. I think Seth Rollins versus Sting will be Sting's last WWE match. And then we've got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which is held by Triple H now. And he won it in the Royal Rumble. And the remaining three was Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Triple H. And he threw out Dean Ambrose last. So, I think because Dean Ambrose won't be defending the Continental title at Fastlane, he'll verse Roman Reigns in the main event to see who's going to verse Triple H at the main event of WrestleMania 32. Or we could have a triple threat match between. Triple H, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. And that's it, really. Now you can hear me. Then you, now you can hear the match going on instead of hearing me mutter on. Of course, Blake is no so, old. Is he and Murphy please enjoy the match. He got him. Saint Jeff. Out. Quit running your mouth and let them do this thing. This is a beating inside and out. Yeah, external and internal. What are you doing? We got a match going on here. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. Blake has been nearly unstoppable ever since that victory at TakeOver rival that John mentioned. He even has a victory over Colin Cassidy in one-on-one -on -one action. Call a finisher. This might be it. Hot damn, it's exciting. Fighting from a position of full health here.
Blake is getting ready here. It's over. That's got to be it. Anytime you can beat a near seven footer like Colin Cassidy, you've got a bright future. And that's exactly what Blake has here in the WWE. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime and leave you some change. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. There's some serious power right there. John Samoa Joe surprised a lot of people when he made his NXT debut at TakeOver Unstoppable in May 2015. Even more surprising was the fact that he had the guts to stand up to Kevin Owens. You have to give Samoa Joe a lot of credit. I don't know a lot of guys that would do that on day one. feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. The shoulders are down! And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. If that didn't stop Blake, I don't know what will. Uh, this is a determined young man, Cole. It's worth mentioning that TakeOver Unstoppable was not the first time Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens crossed paths. In fact, Samoa Joe has battled many familiar names over the years, such as John Cena, Daniel Bryan, and Sami Zayn. Let's just hope Samoa Joe's stamina can hold up. There's no recovering from that. He's just getting dissected. What a match. Momentum has shifted back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. Incredible move by Samoa Joe. One, two, three. He did it. What a huge win. was incredible. Let's see what happened during that incredible matchup. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. Look at this. This was a match that was simply mesmerizing. in that win here tonight. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this is the last time we see them square off. And King, I know you're excited that your hometown was able to see such an amazing match.